from drawing preliminary concepts to working plans of projects. Architects, engineers, and industrial designers depend on a drafting technician to help bring their ideas to life. Hi. Hi. Brian. Alan, glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. Should we take a look around? Please. Hi, I'm Alan Famuler. I'm a drafting technician in Prince George, British Columbia. A drafting technician is an individual that produces drawings that can be used to construct industrial projects. A typical day for me varies a little bit depending on the stage we are in in the project we're working on or the number of projects I might be working on. Early in a given project is drafting on P&IDs, that's process and instrumentation diagrams. These are the diagrams we use to map out a project where the size and types of pipes we're using. There might be markups from an engineer, so I'm literally just doing very basic drafting, following instructions from the engineer and red marks on a, on a hard copy of a drawing. We might be modeling and taking our model and converting it into a drawing. So a big part of this job is going out and collecting data. Although I don't personally do it, when the other technicians go out, they need to be suited up properly. We do have to go into industrial environments quite often to collect field notes or scan data. They can be hazardous environments, so we need the proper training and personal protection equipment, PPE as we call it. High visibility vests and hard hats, safety glasses. Typically, we work from eight to five, Monday to Friday. If we're in a bit of a crunch to finish a project, there will be overtime available. Well, I'm a mechanically minded individual and because of my disability, this is a good spot for me to be where I can be involved in industry and not have to be able-bodied. Most companies require a two-year mechanical engineering technologies program. In terms of how the job has changed over time, the biggest change has been in the tools we use. What am I looking at here? This is a 3D scanner. It's one of the most valuable tools, in my opinion, that we have. And what it does is it collects information on an industrial site about the geometry of things, where everything is. And we can then put that into our computers and model according to what's in the field. So we've gone out into the field, we've collected all of our data, and now we've put it into the computer, and now what are we looking at? This is a program called AutoCAD, mm -hmm. and we use it for 3D modeling as well as producing 2D drawings. Spatial perception is quite important. It's, it's important to be able to look at a 2D drawing and try to visualize a 3D object. I might be presented with a problem where I have to find a way to get a pipe run from a pump to a vessel, and there's a lot of congestion in between that I have to find a route for the pipe through. Drafting technicians can work in industry directly, so at, at a pulp mill, for example, or an oil refinery, um, manufacturing facilities. It's a good career. You don't have to go on and become an engineer. The industry needs more technicians right now. The most rewarding aspect of the job is probably seeing the finished product. Actually, personally, I don't very often get to go out to site and actually see what's been built, but when I do, it's quite a treat. Alan, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, take care. Once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.